All right, one of our favorite things to do. How do I know this? Why do I say that? Because it's my most successful video. Tone from scratch inside of Helix, but this time it's with some of the new stuff in version 3.0. I know there's a ton of you guys that are super stoked for the Diesel VH4. So let's build a tone with the Diesel, with the precision drive, and see what we come up with. Let's do it. We're starting from complete nada. Boom, bam, beam, boop. Okay. If you watched my previous video, you know one of my favorite features is the addition of favorites. Boom. Let's start with... Okay, so I have a cab that I've been using. It's a dual cab block. But I think we're going to bypass that, actually, and go straight for the, the 4x12 Uber T75. And I've been digging the 160 ribbon mic. And I know I want to bring down the high cut to 7K. I just know. Let's bring in... Das Benzen lead. Right, let's try the Mega. Tight. Cool. Let's bring in the Horizon Drive. Now, on my real Horizon Drive, I like to do the classic level up to 10. Drive to zero. Uh, the bright, where do I have the bright at? Probably about five or six. Let's go 5.5. The attack at three. Let's start there. And we're done. Sick. All right, guys. Cool. Just kidding. So we're off to a good start. I'm going to turn the volume up a little bit. I think I'm going to bring the master up a little, see what happens. We're going to get a little volume, of course. Tighten it up, bring the bias X down. You know what? I'm a man that is okay with admitting when he's wrong. And I think in several videos, I've got things backwards and said that in order to tighten up the tone, you want to bring the bias X up. I was wrong. Somebody who so graciously commented on several of my videos that I was wrong. They didn't graciously comment, by the way. They're a real prick about it. But they are right. Bring the bias X down. I must have read something wrong or over the course of time, just flipped it. Bring the bias X down and get a little more tightness. Um, so that's what I did. I think I want a little bit more happiness. Presence. <laughs> Bring the sag down, because that also seems to kind of like do some level of compression to my ears. Let's crank the mids up and see what it does. Not bad. Go back to where it was. Maybe bring that up. Maybe bring the bass down a bit. No, I don't like that.
messing with the deep a little bit. I think I want to bring the brightness up a little. Yeah. I know. Some of you think I just make everything sound the same. But I know what I want to hear going in, so I try to get, attain that with the amp I'm presented with. Brought the, the master down a little bit. Sounding pretty good to my ears. I might bring the might bring this down a little bit more. Yeah. Oop. Six thousand five hundred. Now we're going to do it this way. So this is pretty good right off the bat. I'm going to bring in a parametric EQ. I'm just going to turn on if you were part of my live stream last week, we were playing with the parametric EQ, kind of experimenting with what it does as far as like rolling off some of that real harsh high end. So if you just turn on the high cut, it makes a difference. Now there's a way that I combat that. What I mean by combat that is if we, here, let me show you. Now I might be way off, so you elitist, helix, like the, 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 the guard, the, the, the helix prophets, the elite helix prophets, just back off for a moment, okay? Because I'm just trying to demonstrate a proof of concept. So it's the global EQ is on but it's not on because I'm going spit if and global EQ does not apply to spit if you can see quarter inch XLR or both and it was only on because I was experimenting with it in the live stream kind of demonstrating this very thing so what am I talking about if we turn it on and we can see here let's turn this off if we just turn on so that's the high cut off. Now, I am assuming, because there's the same number of bands, we got a low cut, a high cut, a low, a mid, and a high. Inside of the parametric EQ, as a block, we have a low cut, a high cut, a low, a mid, and a high. Frequency selection, Q selection, gain selection. I'm assuming the parametric EQ block is working exactly the same way as far as curves, like characteristics. I'm making an assumption that this is like, it's a visual demonstration of what the, the parametric EQ block is doing, okay? That's what I'm getting at. So if I just turn on that high cut, look at that slope from 20, just having it at 20K. So it starts cutting at about 4K and it's rolling off pretty harsh, which is fine. Again, I don't, yeah, I have it on down there. So if I turn it off, You can hear what that somewhat drastic curve is doing. So in order to combat that, I had a high peak sort of 
flattening that curve a little bit just so it's getting rid of the hair but not this not as gradual so i had this at 2.6 as you can see it flattens it so then it's about what 16k and then it starts dropping off so 18k a q of 1.6 plus 2 db i know some of you are probably like what is what are you doing you're doing it wrong that's not what it's meant to be used for 18k a q of what Q of 1.6, 1.6, and then 2.6, right? Yeah, so. We get some of that high-end shimmer back. If I just get rid of this. High cut off, high cut on, maybe a little too dark, our little compensation. Happy medium, that's the way I like it. To my ears, that sounds pleasing. Now, if you're not listening on anything decent, you probably can't hear half these moves. So it's just all a waste of time. So there we are. That's where we are with that. <sighs> Give me like 15 minutes. That was the bun. He's my pal. I like it. I think maybe we could probably back off on this a little bit. Eh. No, but let's bring this back down to like 5.8. Maybe bring the attack up. Yeah. Let's mess with this, bring this down to like 5.5, .5, the gain, the drive. <laughs> eh. How about six? Bring the presence down, maybe bring the high up. So I feel like it's close. It's good. I'm having a little trouble writing. I'm having a little trouble like kind of maybe bringing a little bit of the wolf under control. There's like a balance thing happening. So I learned this from Jason. Jason Sedites, a great, great, great Helix guy, YouTuber. His channel's sick. I've learned so much from him. He, um, at least for a while, I don't know if he's doing it anymore or if he's still doing it, he was using a tilty cue. Um, he starts at about 650 hertz, and then to brighten it up and also control the low end, because the tilty cue, you know, we've gone over this before, um, let's just brighten it up by 10. <laughs> Maybe five. Yeah. <laughs> 
I'll bring it up to 10 and then what we're going to do is maybe bring the high down a little bit. Digging it. Let's put the room reverb on this a baby. Look at it. Still have my uber my still has my user defaults. It's a little bit of room. Not bad. There we go. That's the Benzen Mega channel. Now I know the lead has some more hair to it. I did build a patch for that. I'm going to save this. DOS. Mega. Whoa. Save it. Cool. All appropriate links down below in the description, including links to my music. And if you dig what I'm putting down, hit subscribe and follow along. Tone from scratch, from a blank preset to this crap that maybe you like. I like it. I hope you like it too. I hope you were able to follow along. There you go. Bye guys. I love you.